um, in, in this surah when, when you know, we're being told to sacrifice everything, you know, go to the lion's den or, um, you know, basically put God front and center, put everything, our wealth, our everything. Um, practically speaking, for us in our time, like, what does that really mean? Like, do we, should we, you know, like, give all of our money, give all of our effort, you're like, you know, when you're thinking in terms of like, okay, well, I have a mortgage, or I need to save for my child's education, or, you know, like, are we supposed to be um, destitute in this process, or how, how do we balance this call to support light with the modern demands of the day? Well, okay, so there are, at a bare, bare minimum is what is the zakah. But that's the bare minimum, right? And that's a sm very small amount, if you think about it. Um, two per two and a half percent on what's saved for, or, you know, annually. It's, you know, for what you have for over. Um, beyond the zakah, the zakah is the sadaqa that uh, that the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ established as regularly paid during by Muslims at his time in order to support the Islamic cause, and um, let me how, how much does it, what's the percentage that it? Comes to, um, yeah, the twenty. Yeah, so it's comes is twenty percent. So it's the twenty percent. If 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 you can satisfy the rights of your your children have rights and their rights are to be fed and clothed and go to get a good education, but their rights do not include that you have to make sure that you buy them their home, you, you know, and to buy a house for them so that they don't have to worry about buying a house. It does not include that you have to buy them an expensive car. It does not include that you have to buy them the best clothes and the most expensive clothes. So the 20% the is what at the, the sunnah, it's a sunnah that we all are very good at ignoring. I mean, it's amazing that you hear Muslims all the time talk about follow the Sunnah of the Prophet. The sunnah of the Prophet is you do a number of tasbihs after this Salah and this Salah. Well, how about the Sunnah of the Prophet, 20% of your income? Oh, well, that we never talk about. <laughs> it's just we are hypocrites to the core. Our hypocrisy is sickening. Uh, because I can, there is a lot of disagreement about the number of tasbihs that the, of the Prophet did after this Salah or that Salah, but there's practically no disagreement about the 20%. You owe the 20%. You satisfy your needs, not your luxuries. And then the 20%. Now, if you want to even have a more secure deal with Allah, if you want to be like al Hawari Yun, notice like Surah Al-Saf, what it tells you, if you want to be like the disciples of Jesus, like the disciples of Muhammad, because Muhammad himself had his own Hawariyun. Now the disciples, the Hawariyun, if you want to have that status where you are, you, 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 you basically, you're making a deal with Allah that in the hereafter, I don't want to be among one of the commoners, I want to be one of the Hawariyun, the, the truly who purified themselves then you hold nothing back. Then, then you exceed the 20%. You know, it is, it, it, part of the seerah is, the, the Prophet ﷺ, when you study his seerah, when it came to his Hawariyun, his true disciples, he never prevented them from donating everything. When it came to less than the Hawariyun, when they would want to exceed the 20%, it's as if he's saying, I know you can't handle it. No, limit yourself. But the, the, the calamity is modern, especially Sunni Muslims. 
have somehow, while they have been taught to obsess over the minutia, and like Jews, exactly like the Jews, over ritual, you know, all the minutia of ritual, they turn sadaqa and zakah into one. So it, whenever the Quran talks about sadaqa, they read it in their mind as zakah. So they think that all they owe is this 2.5% on whatever they have saved for over a year or a year or more. No cause is victorious with such a minimal amount. No cause. Can you imagine two and a half percent to, to take care of all the Muslim refugees in the world, to educate all the Muslims who need education, to uphold, to respond to Islamophobia, to 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 uh, gain power in the whole halls of Congress, to create think tanks that you know a, a think tank in Britain turned. British government decisively far more racist, but a well-funded think tank. Two and a half percent doesn't do any of that, any of that. But that's what Muslims do. It is, it is mind-boggling. It is absolutely, I mean, it, it, and that's precisely why anthropologists like Karen Leonard and others who studied Muslims in the West said that Muslims are the West are the least philanthropic minority. They, their wealth, in proportion to their wealth, they are the least philanthropic minority. The sort of stuff embarrasses us because it comes and says, all of you Muslims. Yeah, you love to talk about how this society, you know, non-Muslims are materialistic and capitalism and colonialism and ism and ism and ism, but you're hypocrites. You, all of these people that you condemn, they spend not just money on their causes, they spend money to hate your religion. They, they spend millions of dollars to attack your religion, not even to uphold their religion, not even just to spread their religion, to just malign your religion. And you are the most materialistic religious group on the face of the earth. And it's time that we confront that. We are the most materialistic religious group on the face of the earth. I was telling someone recently, when I joined UCLA, Hindu study, Indian studies, we had an Indian studies program, was not controlled by Hindu funds. During my, the time I started in the past 20 plus years that I've been at UCLA, I've seen Hindu families donate so much money to that program at UCLA that now Indian studies is completely controlled by Hindu nationalists. No one can be part, can be hired, can be even invited to give a lecture at UCLA that would speak positively about Muslims in Indian history because all the funding is by Hindus who want to support a narrative that everything Muslim in Indian history was evil. Pakistani studies, worthless. Not even on the map. Every, I mean, what are Jewish studies? Obviously, I don't even need to get into Jewish studies. You know, Jewish, Hebrew, Israeli studies. Yeah, we have three <laughs> programs: Jewish studies, Israeli studies, Hebrew studies. All extremely well funded. Persian studies. Oh, Persian studies. All the money that Persian studies got were from Persian Jews and anti-Muslim, anti-Islam Persians. So now. Persian studies at UCLA never talks about Persia after Islam. It's as if the only Persia that is real, according to the academic program, is Persia before Islam. This was wealthy Persians 
who donated a lot of money and made their preferences very clear. Islamic studies engaged the Muslim community in LA, which is an extremely rich in Orange County in LA. All they managed to raise, all they managed to raise in 20 years, this is including me as the chair of that program for 10 years, is enough to have a conference, a symposium once a year. Not even chairs, not fellowships, not postdocs, just enough to have a worthless symposia where we invite a few professors and invite them and we can't fly them internationally because we don't have enough money for international flights. It has to be local in, within the US. No first class, it has to be economy. And a very modest honorarium, very modest. So you can imagine how little the sum of money. Okay, you tell me. Do I need to say anything more? You just want to shoot yourself. You, you just, you know, you, you sit there and say, oh yeah, no wonder that, you know, I give these halakas on the Quran and hardly anyone listens to them. Who needs a Quran? You know, no, the Islam that we need is, is, is you know, hijab and nail polish and you know that's the islam you just want to shoot yourself okay calm down calm down <laughs> don't do that okay <laughs>